Meeting planners, if your next meeting is fast approaching, now is the time to conduct a room audit with your host hotel. And if you're not sure why you should be spending time on this somewhat time consuming task of comparing lists with your hotel, stick around. I'll hopefully give you a few compelling reasons to show you why room audits are in your best interests. Folks, conducting a room audit can happen at any stage in the planning process, but sometimes doing a room audit is most beneficial when you do it right before your reservation due date um, or a few days before your conference and certainly right after your conference as well. And even if you have a healthy pickup and you think, why should I be bothered trying to find any extra rooms that may have been placed outside of the block? Here's why doing a room audit would be beneficial, even if you have a really, really healthy guest room pickup at your host hotel. Number one, it's going to combat any potential attrition charges. Now again, if you have a healthy pickup, you still are in danger of seeing cancellations up to your event. Delegates do it all the time. They cancel two or three days before a program, or they book a room and then decide they're going to stay with family members. So having a room audit ensures that all rooms are captured under the block to combat any potential attrition that you might be facing. Number two, you want to capitalize on your concessions. If you've been granted a one complimentary room night for every 50 consumed, then you definitely want to make sure your numbers are solid so that you can capitalize on all those comp room nights or any room upgrades and amenities that you may have, your, have in your contract as well. Number three, accurate history. This is going to help you forecast for future years. So make sure that you get all the rooms that are credited to your association. And finally, credit history. Yes, hotels will call upon your past hotels to get a, a credit history when deciding to forward you master billing credit for your future event. So again, ensuring all of those rooms and that revenue is to your benefit and to your credit when you're booking your future programs. If you currently conduct room audits on a regular basis and you have any best practices that you would like to share, please share them with your community and comment on this video below. And if you're not sure how to conduct a room audit, please reach out to either Stephen or I. We do these room audits all the time for our clients with their host hotels, because again, they see the benefit and we see the benefit of doing those room audits on a regular basis. And finally, if you are a hotel salesperson, help out your meeting planners with making this process of doing a room audit easy and seamless as possible. This is going to help you guys as well, making sure that the, the client has an accurate credit history and no one wants to collect on attrition charges. So please help out your meeting planners by assisting them with their room audits when the time comes. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you follow me on LinkedIn to stay on top of all of my two minute tip Tuesday videos. And if you have any questions about conference direct services to our clients around room audits or anything else, drop me a line as well. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Have a great week. Bye for now.